breaking news, YouTubers. What do we got here? Uh, August 24th, 6.2 magnitude earthquake hits Italy. Uh, if you do not have the USGS earthquake site on your computer, I highly suggest that you navigate to that and uh, you, you isolate a few selections on there and select the, uh, it would be 4.5 and greater earthquakes uh, for the world map as your, as your favorites, but you can clearly see. Now 4.5 is a significant earthquake uh, that um, is, you know, like huge. Obviously you're going to feel smaller ones, but uh, a 4.5 depending on where it's at and the height of it uh, to the surface causes damage. But, but here's the thing. I started monitoring the USGS site, I want to say about maybe 10 or 12 years ago. It was a habit that I would monitor the activity every, every single day. And I want to say the maybe a page of significant earthquakes around the world in a 30-day period uh, 10 or 12 years ago that is all that I would see because I could look at it in page view now if you look at that same report 30 days and over it is pages upon pages upon pages and keeping this in mind with what Jesus Christ said uh, he said that Earthquakes, famines, pestilences would be as birth pains. What happens with a woman's birth pains is as she gets closer and closer to giving birth to that child, the uh, intensity and the frequency of those uh, contractions would, uh, would get closer and closer together and more intense until that child is born. And that's what we're going through, folks. Uh, the intensity and frequency of natural disasters you can't ignore this. Uh, and, and the other thing is, is this, uh, this is the first time in recorded history with uh, the electronic technology that we have that we've been able to monitor it as such, which is also a prophetic thing. It said that knowledge will increase. The increase of knowledge that we have right now is intense. I mean, come on, uh, Pokemon Go, hello. And there's another thing right there. Um, but anyway, I posted a couple things on uh, on my Facebook that talks about, you know, prophecy is not there to scare you, just, just to scare you. It's there as a warning. Now, if you look at a lot of the satanic stuff that's going on and things that the government says that they're going to do, they're pretty brazen about it. They're warning you too, but it's almost kind of like a... Uh, a gloating, brazen arrogance, they're, they're doing this right to your face. In such items as this, you will, and now they're warning you, they're warning you about that they're going to hit you in the gut here, you will receive a uh, computer microchip for the purposes of tracking, you purchasing, and uh, this is, uh, it's exactly what the Bible says in Revelation. He, the Antichrist, causes all men, rich or poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead that you wouldn't be able to buy or sell except for, you know, if you had the mark. And here's another thing that uh, Ellie Marzulli in Watchers talks about. Um, you know, we're doing, we're doing this DNA alteration, and uh, it's, it's very interesting that once you receive this mark, there's no redemption. There's, there's no chance for you to be saved. It's, it's automatic judgment. And with, with the technology that we have, uh, they're talking about designer babies and stuff like that. Uh, super um, soldiers, where they can design the, uh, the attributes of the recipient so that you know they can grow up stronger, require less sleep. Um, Guys, it's very interesting when we talk about DNA alteration, and this is big news right now. This is big news. You know, they're talking about what rights, what rights will a uh, a uh, 
uh, hybrid offspring have, you know, if it's like a hybrid animal, human, animal, pig, whatever. Uh, and this is exactly what happened in, in uh, Genesis chapter 6 when the sons of God, the fallen angels, and this is all fallen angel technology, when the sons of God saw the daughters of men and found that they were beautiful and they chose all that they wanted to uh, for wives and they and the wives bore them children and these children were I, I don't really like the way that it's described they were men of renown yeah people knew about them but here's the thing they were they were hybrid you know beings um, the uh, Greek historians talk about like Hercules and Atlas and all this stuff minotaurs guys minotaurs existed they're finding uh, bones and stuff like that so we, we got some interesting stuff happening here and I really you know I hate to bear the the tidings of you know most of you have put the supernatural in a box I'm guilty of it too uh, most of you put the supernatural in a box and say wow if it freaks me out in this concept I'm not going to listen to it. You know what? I've since then, for a long time now, I've recanted my belief system as to what I think is actually going on versus what's really going on. And as a Christian, I like the way L.A. Marzulli puts it. He says, you know what? You believe in talking donkeys, man walking on water, but you're putting stuff like this uh, in a box? And, and the archaeological bones prove it. It's, the evidence is there. Why do we continue to ignore it and take stupid pills? God bless you guys. Have a great day.